Welcome to this edition of WSHS News. I am Kayla Biasi. On today's segment, we will be informing you on topics such as flight shortage, pilot shortage, National Guard, and the future of aviation. I am Olivia Vostatek. We interviewed the Experimental Aircraft Association. Dick Nipinski, the Director of Communications from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, told us what this national organization is doing to train individuals within the career pathways of aviation. I, I do. You know, some of that is uh, from places such as Boeing and some of the airlines as to what they're facing in the pilot shortage. And what we have heard so far is that a lot of the pilots who are, for instance, around my age, the, the late baby boomer generation, are getting ready to retire because federal law states that airline pilots must retire at age 65 regardless. And so... Uh, that pushes a lot of those pilots out of the system and the military is not training as many pilots as they did 30 or 40 years ago so there is a, a big gap there between the number of pilots being trained by the military and so forth and by the pilots that will be needed not only for the airlines but corporate flying flight instructors and in other areas too uh, so that's on the pilot end and when you include that to be such things as uh, aviation mechanics, uh, those working within the aviation industry, there is a huge need and a lot of opportunities for young people to find careers. Next, Ellie is heading to our favorite coffee shop to discuss aviation career opportunities within the Ohio Valley. As the job shortage is a growing concern, how are our armed forces filling their positions? We are meeting our favorite sergeant, Andrea Gump, who is a 92A Automated Logistical Specialist for the West Virginia Air National Guard located at Wheeling, Ohio County Airport. We are discussing careers in the military. Hi, Sergeant Gump. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself and the National Guard? Absolutely. So I um, joined the Army National Guard in 2016. I've been a member for about seven years. I chose the West Virginia Army National Guard because I wanted to go to college 100% free. Um, I found my passion and my calling through the Army National Guard and I'm currently a military career counselor where I help students like you and other local area students find their path and their journey um, if they choose to decide to go the military route. If you think the pilot shortage isn't real, just ask our two alumni who are taking advantage of flight schools with Alexis Lucasina. Recently, two CTE SHS aviation graduates are continuing their flight training from Republic and ABA. Lexi Martin and Greg Mamula realized the pilot job shortage would be a great opportunity to train for this career pathway. Hello, my name is Alexis Martin. I'm a freshman at ECSU and my major is aviation science and my concentration is flight education. Um, my goal this year is to get my private pilot certification and my long-term goal is to become a commercial pilot. Um, aviation is a great opportunity and um, way to open up avenues that you didn't think that you had. My name is Greg Mamula. I'm currently working towards earning my private pilot certificate and I'll be working towards receiving all of my ratings and certificates over the next year and a half so that I can continue my career in aviation. I will be looking to be a commercial airline pilot uh, in the upcoming years, and I really enjoy what, uh, what this industry has to offer, and I love doing it. It's a great, great experience. While the headlines scream pilot shortage again, reality paints a somewhat different picture. The major airlines are ramping up hiring at a pace even greater than prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. Good luck to Lexi and Greg with their flight training. Big changes are happening to Ohio career and technical education courses offering industry standards credentials for free. One example is earning your UAS 107 Drone Professional Pilot's License. Career ready? Learn more on how to sign up this Maymester next week. Thank you, Big Red, for joining us on this edition of WSHS. Don't forget the Crimson Cafe is open all week. Have a great day.